Hello and welcome to a problem solving session on triangles. The given question says that P is the midpoint of BC. So let us highlight point P. This is P, it's midpoint of BC. Q is the midpoint of AP, right? And if B, BQ when produced, if BQ when produced meets AC at R, this is R, prove that RA is one third of CA, okay? Or RA by CA is one by three, okay? So that's the question, right? Mm -hmm. So how to go about this proof? So first of all, let's do the customary activities, right? So given is uh, P is the P is the midpoint midpoint of p is the midpoint of bc correct therefore bp is equal to pc is equal to same right or b, b i can write bp is equal to pc that's it right similarly uh, aq is equal to qp this is given we have to prove to prove and I will be writing simplified version of the given proof AR by AC. AR by AC. AR by AC is equal to 1 upon 3. So again, you can see AR by AC is equal to 1 upon 3. So there is a ratio of uh, two parts of the same segment, isn't it? So the moment ratio is there, you know what all theorems can be used. So we have to do a construction, but here, why? Because mostly we are going to use the BPT, but in BPT, we need a pair of parallel lines. So what construction can I do? So if, see, AR has to be proven to be equal to one upon three. That means this is one upon two. And this is one is to one. If you see, I'm just writing crudely. So one is to one, one is to two, you have to prove. So by, um, you know, if let's say, if I have this kind of a setup, let's say I'm doing construction P Q oh no, P S. So P S parallel to Q R drawn. Right. So this will involve B P P C then there's a new point s also but then we'll get two parallel lines right so parallel lines and then we can write the bpt so hence if you see proof proof what do we do in triangle in triangle which one so where do we see two parallel lines so ps and br are two parallel lines so in triangle uh, cbr cbr right ps is parallel to BR. So can't we say that PC by BP will be equal to CS by SR. But PC and BP are same. See, same. They are same. Right now. So hence we can say this is equal to one. Since PC by BP will be one. Right now. So hence what do we Therefore, we can conclude CS is equal to CR. Right? CS is equal to not CR, SR, my bad. CS is equal to not CR, SR. This is SR, right? So just a correction, guys. It is SSR. CS is equal to CS is equal to SR. Now, again, if you look at this triangle, which one? APS in triangle APS see again we have two parallel sides parallel lines you have to be observant right so and if you see this is these are the two parallel sides or lines so in triangle APC QR is dividing the two sides of the triangle APS and PS happens to be the base then we can say by BPT by BPT what can I say I can say AQ by QP AQ by QP is equal to AR by RS now Q happens to be the midpoint. So can I can I not say if you see AQ is equal to QP, so this also will be equal to one because AQ by QP is one. So this implies AR is equal to RS. And previously we had CS is equal to SR or RS, right? So this is one, 
this is 2 rs and sr are same so therefore we can conclude from 1 and 2 from 1 and 2 what can we conclude we can say that ar is equal to rs is equal to sc all three are equal so this part equal to this part is equal to this part so can we not say therefore we can conclude that ar ar upon ar upon ac is equal to ar upon 3 ar because ac will be constituted or you know made by 3 ars so hence it is 1 upon 3 hence ar is equal to or 3 ar is equal to ac or ar is equal to 1 by 3 ac this is what we needed to prove right this is what was the demand of the question c this one so we could prove this so what was the underlying uh, concept in this so again we use bpt but then we have to be observant in order to find two parallel sides and then since we are dealing with ratios it's always uh, important or it's you know it, it is quite uh, quite evident that bpt will be applicable somewhere or the other so we have to just find the right configuration of the uh, geometry so right configuration that means what do i mean by configuration you have to find out those real you know those uh, in, you know um, required parallel sides so the moment the parallel sides and the triangles are identified then applying bpt and then hence coming to the conclusion will become easier so learning is being observant and try to relate to the requirement of the problem and the underlying concept